Okay, we continue mesh menu and we are going to uh, explain the mesh. Before going to the explain the mesh, I want to explain this menu, conversion uh, menu here. Okay. It's called in an old version of the Cineum 4D. It was in a mesh menu, the menu called conversion. When you insert the object for making them editable, it's very uh, important button here make them editable if you hold your mouse as you can see this menu will be appear here okay in this menu we can uh, access to all sitting above the objects the first comment is uh, make editable if you click it as we can see this is a parametric object and simply you can make them editable and now to access to the point edge and the polygon of that object and access to all mesh uh, comments here okay so the first step for uh, modeling is make them editable from the parametric make them editable if you're holding your mouse as you can see this make editable is turned off because it's editable and second comment is a current state to objects very important because we can use it a lot as you can see, if you, for example, uh, make a box here, change its uh, dimensions like this, uh, display crowd shelling, we add some segments here, and I add a bend I, uh, comment <coughs> to that with holding shift. And here you can change the angle in any direction that you want. Okay. If you make this cube editable in this current, if you use bend option, um, a lots of tools here, that's the parametric object. If you select this cube and make it editable, as you can see, if we go into the model mode, we have this object and it does not change the bend. If you go into the polygon edge mode, as you can see, it's straight. It's go back to its original position. So. Ctrl Z to make that parametric. As you can see, it's a parametric. If you go to the disk modes, it doesn't change. But if you want to freeze this object or uh, capture this object in exactly in this position, you have to use this useful command: current state to object. Select the cube, current state to object. As you can see, it's uh, it's <coughs> A freeze object in its position and as you can see turn it to the this is our parametric object original parametric object and this is the current acceptor it's it's freeze this object in this position and as you can see it's you can now uh, edit it in uh, edit mode with the polygon so it's current set object it's very important and interesting uh, or for example, if you uh, use a point level animation or use a, uh, all of its sit settings, uh, all of these settings, if you want to make them editable, you if you want to freeze it in its uh, states, you can set the current step to it's very useful and you can use it. Another, these tools are not very important about and explain it uh, imagine you have two objects for example this object and another object above that it's not important make it such a this object like this <clears throat> as you can see this object in a hierarchy you can make them editable if you want as you can see the these objects are uh, in this viewport, we have two objects, and in the hierarchy, we have two objects. If you want to combine them, it does not weld any object to it. If you want to combine them and uh, make uh, one object from these objects, you can use connect object. As you can see, this is on coin number one. If you go into the model mode, as you can see, we have uh, our original two objects, and this is an one object of two that object. But in a hierarchy, there are one, one object, but they're actually uh, disconnected from 
each other. This tool does not connect them really. It's just to connect them in a hierarchy. Okay. Uh, if you want to keep these objects, you can use connect object. If you want to connect objects and delete them, delete the previous objects, you can connect and delete. And now we have a connect that object. And the last uh, tool is volume mesh. I will explain this volume mesh. It's also here in volume mesh. When we reach the volume builder, I explain them together in that lesson. When we finish the mesh menu, we're going to the volume modeling. That's an interesting tool that add to the Cinema 40. Okay, that's it. Yeah, and then you can go to other tool. Uh, in the Cinema 4D, the last tool that in a menu that use it's in a uh, it's display here. You can make it editable, and as you can see, this. Or if you want, you can separate these tools. This current set object is very interesting. You can add the bottom here. I explain how to customize the tool, the palettes, and the user interface of Cinema 40. Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.